Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the All Things Good channel and to another video. It's Polly here. Lovely to see you. Thank you for joining me. Well, joining me in the car is Albert and Lenny because this morning we've got to go off to the vets for their annual vaccinations. So, whilst I've just started up the engine and all is quiet, we're going to have a chorus of singing in a minute because neither of them like the car. There's quite a lot to show you in this week's video. I've got some nice purchases, bits and pieces. So, let's get on with the week. Hope you enjoy the video. So I've just arrived at the vets and the chorus of singing has alerted me to a problem. Lenny hasn't made any noise in the car whatsoever and, and sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't. He's better in the car generally than Albert anyway. But Albert seems to have lost his voice or appears to have a very, very croaky voice. Um, so I'm hoping he gets his vaccinations today, but it could be he's a bit under the weather. So I'm going to get the vet to give him a good, well, I'm sure they'll give him a good check over anyway. So that's interesting. And what they're doing here at the vets is a system that they started doing during COVID and they're still doing it. So you don't take your pet straight into the veterinary surgery. You actually leave them in the car. You go in, tell them you've arrived and you're given a buzzer with a number on it, which is the number of the room that you'll be going into for your appointment. You come back in your car and you wait and you wait for the buzzer to vibrate and when the buzzer vibrates you can go in and they've decided to keep the system going which they started during lockdown because they're finding it easier for people coming in and out with large animals um, and there's not too many animals and not too many um, pet caddies and things like that in inside the reception area which is actually quite small here although it's at large vets the reception area is quite small so that's a really good idea so we've done this a couple of times now when we've been over the vets the last few months, what with Milo and all that kind of stuff. So we're just waiting for our appointment. I don't know if you can hear Albert in the background, but when he's meowing, he's, he's normally got a very loud, deep voice. I thought I was buzzing then, I'm not. Um, and he's really croaky. So we'll see. See what the vet says. He might have a bit of a throat infection or a cold or something. I hope he can have his vaccination though. I hope you're all right, Albert. Hmm, let's see. Wait patiently. Oh, we're buzzing. Let's go. Right, well, we're all done and Albert was able to have his vaccination. Um, seemed perfectly fine in himself and I said he was eating and drinking fine. So she was happy, he was, wasn't running a temperature or anything like that. So it could be he has just got a bit of a sore throat for some reason but she was happy to give him the vaccination. So they both had that and fully vaccinated. Great for 12 months, which is super. And she was also talking to me a bit about um, Lenny because Lenny was d um, diagnosed with a heart condition some years ago when he was really little. He has a heart murmur and he has some heart disease. And obviously Lenny's a big cat. He's a bit overweight and all those kind of things. And he's always been that way, but he has lost a little bit of weight since he's been a little bit more outdoorsy. So that's good. Um, and he's in pretty good health, but we were having a chat about, you can hear Albert's croaky voice. We're having a bit of a chat about things going forward really, and whether it's worth me having a heart scan for him because he's seven years old now. And I was asking her about life expectancy with this kind of heart disease and i didn't really want to go too much into it but it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a tricky one because if i have a heart scan um it would give me a really good indication of expectations for the future and it would tell me the level of the disease but it's 450 pounds so that's something to think about um, and also 
also the other indication is to watch his resting heart beat so when he is asleep or resting very quietly is to have a look at his breathing and to count his breaths and I think she said if it was under 30 that's good per minute and if it's over so if it's fast that's bad and he would need to be seen um, so I'm gonna have a think about it and think about the scan but I might just leave him to his own devices for a little bit because he seems perfectly healthy he's not doing anything different than he was 12 months two years three years ago and as I say he's a bit more active now anyway because he goes outside so on the whole I think they're fine so I'm gonna go home deposit them back at the house and I've got to go and get mom because Guess what we're doing? We're going shopping. Today we've come for a look round Aldi. Brilliant. seen it all now <laughs> right how did you get up there and how are you gonna get back down again we well, were funny <laughs> oh my <laughs> Poor old Albert. <laughs> You're a bit tired since you had your vaccination, Albert. Yeah. He is. Bless him. Anyway, as you saw, I went to Aldi's this morning. And the first thing I picked up were these fat quarters in a five pack. Beautiful 100% cotton. They are 45 by 56 centimetres approximately each. Haven't opened them yet, as you can see, in different designs. So we've got flowery ones. We've got a green leafy one. We've got a sort of, oh, a sort of woodland snowy grey and white one. I like that. One with butterflies and butterflies and flowers on. So what I'm going to do with that is possibly during the winter evenings when there's nothing else to do or if I've been to the gym and there's... I don't want to be out in the garden in the cold winter evenings. I might sit and actually make some summer bunting ready for next year with that, which might be quite nice. Or some jam jar top holders or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I bought those to do something crafty with when I've got time. 
And the next thing I picked up in Aldi was this little wax melt burner. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a little white pumpkin. You take the lid off, put your wax melt inside, and I've put one of my cinnamon wax melts in. It's very, very seasonal. Put the tea light inside and light it, and there you go. When you finish with it, you can put the little top back on the pumpkin. I just thought it was so cute. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, and it's the 1st of October. How has that happened? It's October. But you know what? The sun is shining today. Yesterday, the weather was awful. But we have beautiful sunshine on the 1st of October. We are so blessed. And I've had a couple of deliveries this morning. I've actually had some things come from TK Maxx. So I shall show you. I've actually had some seasonal scents delivered. So I've had a new autumnal candle. Oh, it's heavy. Let me pick it up. So this is the pumpkin allspice candle. Now you may remember, I think was it last week's video or the video before, I showed you this apple pumpkin candle. That was from TK Maxx. I think it was last year. It might have been the year before actually, but it's still going and it smells gorgeous. So I wanted to either get the same again or something similar. And this is what I found online this week. So this is called pumpkin allspice. And actually it does smell very, very similar to apple pumpkin. It does smell very, very similar, but it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And that was £8.99. It's very big, very heavy. And then I got a reed diffuser. And again, this is huge as well. This is the Crespi Milano Platinum Collection. So this is the bottle, as you can see, really big, really big. These are the reeds that go in it. So. <laughs> They're really big, very tall. So I'm going to have to find somewhere very safe for this to go. But this, hmm, I'm not sure about the reduction on the price on this. But if you have a look at this box, you'll see that it should have been like £95 or something originally. But I don't know where or if these things are really sold at those original prices. I don't know. I hate to say it. But this is in cinnamon and cloves and I haven't opened it yet. So it's going to be very, very Christmassy, but I love, I love cinnamon. I love it, as you know, I do, I love it. So I'm hoping that's going to be really Christmassy and lovely. So I might hang on to that for a bit longer before I open it, perhaps give it till November. But because it's so big, I would imagine it's going to last all winter. So I'm not going to keep it till Christmas because I don't want cinnamon throughout the house all year. So I'll probably give it a... Mm, two or three weeks so before I open that. And the next candle I got was also Christmassy, £9.99. And this one's called the Stained Glass Cinnamon Stick, this says. And, oh, it's got an extra layer inside. Beautiful, really, really cinnamon. Cinnamon stick it was advertised as the Stained Glass Cinnamon Stick. And I think it's because of the lid. It's got like a little stained it's not stained glass obviously but it's got like a little design on it like it was stained glass window so those i've had from tk max today so in all that cost me 45 pound and 96p with a delivery charge of 6.99 which i thought was a bit steep but there we go so that's today i've got some more things coming later so let's get on with today it's saturday so i'm going out shopping with mom and it's so beautiful i don't know where we're going yet but hmm Let's just get out and about. Don't sit in the study very often unless I'm doing something study-ish. Anyway, um, we've just been to the charity shop over in Sutton Coalfield again. And I didn't film in there today, but I found three things. And one of which is really, I think, quite a find. I'm going to show you that first. So I found this quite nice, very nice actually, winter thick lined cardigan stroke coat but here's the piece de resistance it is a Winsmore now Winsmore established I think back in 1930-ish something like that and was always seen as very very sophisticated classic clothing was always very expensive I don't think they exist anymore I'm pretty sure they don't so you could say that this is possibly vintage but I got it for £20. I'm going to show you what it looks like on. 
and it's a size 14 so it's a little bit big for me actually but I don't mind it being too big a little bit too big it's not too big on the shoulders which I suppose is the main thing and I don't mind it a little bit big for the winter because of everything that you're going to wear underneath it so let me show you it's got these quite nice little buttonholes they're a bit different they're like half moon shaped which um yeah as I say is a bit different and then it has this sort of scarf bit that you can either do that with like so or I suppose you could do this with like so but it's so easy to wear because it feels light but actually it's super cozy so I think certainly autumnal certainly for autumn it's perfect you might want something a bit more in the depth of winter but I love the colour, love the design, love the fact it's Winsmore. Let me bring my chair closer into you now. And um, very, very stylish. And keeping with all things stylish. Good afternoon, lady of the manor speaking. <laughs> I found this. Oh my God. Look at this. Do you know why? I don't really know why I bought this. I just like it. It's an old fashioned telephone, obviously, but it's got the rather modern adaption on the end so it is in full working order apparently um i kind of in a strange way always wanted one of these but i've never really figured out why that's why i've never bought one before but it was 5.95 and i might plug it in and have a go i know it works but i don't know where at the moment or i might just actually fancy it up somewhere and just have it for ornamental purposes and if I can't find somewhere to put it, I don't know, it might get sold on, I don't know. But I just really liked it and um, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? So it'll well, be interesting to see uh, if it does work. I'm sure it does. I was told it does. And um, But yeah, I might just have it as an ornament somewhere. Anyway, that was that bit. That's a bit of fun. And the next thing I got, which I thought was really cute, for £2.95, this very nice grey wooden tray, which I would say is for garden utensils and I think that's what I'm going to use it for so it'll have my little trowels and scissors and green string in and what have you and certainly for next summer I thought that was really pretty I'm sure you could use it for other things you could actually have it on a kitchen worktop and have your very large um, utensils in if you didn't want them standing in a pot so I suppose it's got various uses but I really liked it in grey in wood so that was quite a successful trip. Happy, happy Saturday. And for those of you with a beady eye, you will have noticed I'm wearing a new piece of jewellery this week. I've actually bought some new jewellery because all my rings are falling off me now I've lost weight. I've treated myself to this sterling silver blue synthetic sapphire and white cubic zirconia with an oval cluster. It's off Amazon. It's an exact replica of Lady Diana's engagement ring, which now belongs to Kate Middleton. a little moment on the bed. I don't think we did a moment on the bed last week, did we? Mm, no, I don't think we did. That broke the tradition a bit, didn't it? There we go. Anyway, very reflective week for me this week, actually, because it's almost 12 months since the end of my long-term relationship. And um, I'm doing really well. Um, as some of you will know, I've done a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of healing and a lot of processing over the past 12 months, but I'm super healthy. Super blessed, two stone lighter, loving life. And <clears throat> I was kind of just going to explain the start of my video, rewind it if you need to and watch it again. But um, right at the start of this video, I did two or three minutes of just doing really normal stuff, making the breakfast, having a cup of coffee, getting in the shower. I wasn't sure whether to show you that bit or not, but there we go, you know. Um, making the bed, you know, really simple stuff, but actually, those are really big things for me these days because I can now do all those things, all those normal things 
in my own time without being criticised, without being told it shouldn't be done like that or it could be done like this or why is your hair like that or why do you look so tired, why do you look so fat, etc, etc. All the things that I no longer have in my life, I no longer have that negativity. It's all good, it's all positive. And I'm loving doing the YouTube videos and thank you so much to everybody that makes lovely comments. I really, really appreciate it. And some of you are saying, you know, you love seeing how I look after my mom and how I parent and one thing and another. And I've, I've never ever questioned that. I've never, it's come as such a lovely shock to me to receive such beautiful comments. It's, you know, this is just my life. It's just what I do. And I am super, super blessed. So anyway, I won't go on and on and on, but thank you all for joining me and um, I hope you are enjoying the videos as we go forward and my God, it's getting cold here now as well. So it's going to be very, very seasonal soon. I'm so looking forward to doing Christmas videos for you as well. I might even do Vlogmas. Do you think I should do Vlogmas this year? It'd be hard work. A video every day. Do you want to see a video every day? I don't know. Let me know if you do or you don't. Anyway, going to fly. It's a long video this week, isn't it? Hope you've enjoyed it. Have a great week. Stay in the boat. Stay safe. Do all things good and have a great week. Hope you're all very, very well. And if not, get well soon. Why are you not very well? Get yourselves well. Get yourselves healthy. Live your best life. And I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Take care.